Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Today I picked up a jewelry bag to go through with you guys. Actually, I went to our local Salvation Army store. Well, actually not really local. I mean, it did take me about 20 minutes drive to get there. But, oh, and also probably took me another seven minutes to find parking, just driving around and around. Finally got a parking spot, went in there, did notice, um, they had a whole bunch of jewelry bags behind the counter to, um, by the cashier's till. So asked the uh, ladies to show me the bags. And uh, honestly, I probably went through like 15 bags. Just, you know, checking around, looking at each bag, see if there was any goodies that were visible. And when it came down to the very last bag, this one in particular, uh, I saw some decent stuff that was totaling, like worth at least $19.99, which I paid for this bag, plus tax. So yeah, it's, um, it shows that you have to check every single bag. And there was some other, you know, like somewhat decent bags, some for $9.99, some for $14.99, and also $19.99. Um, I don't know, it's like borderline good, as if they salted each bag with some goodie. I mean, I had one bag with with uh, one big pendant, a sterling pendant, about the size of a quarter, uh, 25 cent piece. Another one had a Mexican silver bracelet, well, it's sort of like a half bangle type of bracelet. And, um, you know, it was no more than, I'd say, I don't know, 25 grams maybe 20 grams so you know I don't know it, it just, just didn't seem like worth the $20 to get that bag but this one I saw a few interesting items that I thought yeah definitely worth the money so here we are anyways I got my tools got my trusty magnifying glass just to look up marks and also my rare earth magnet, they call it. That, uh, you know, if there's any gold plated stuff or silver plated stuff, it'll be attracted right away. So no guessing and no straining my eyes unnecessarily. So I put my tools right over here. And I do want to make a shout out, give a shout out to Jennifer Hayes. Uh, she's been watching my videos for the... Um, I guess the jewelry unbagging, um, not that long, um, probably the last three videos on them, but uh, she makes really great comments, uh, very positive person, love her comments. So thank you, Jennifer Hayes. And um, also uh, want to make a shout out to Noni Hayes. I don't think it's they're related in any way, just, you know, by coincidence, the name's the same, last name's the same. Um, she reminded me, she goes, when you're going through your jewelry bags, the things that you don't want, don't refer to them as junk or trash. Um, you know, it really got me thinking, and I'm thinking, the whole point of this hobby is to find, you know, like, one man's trash, no, one man's treasure is another man's trash, or person, right? So, you know, like, that's right. What I think is trash, like let's say these, you know, some beads and non-precious metal type of stuff, um, could be something, you know, important to someone else. Like she even said that, uh, you know, if I was an eBay seller, reseller, you know, like let's say these broken necklaces with big chunky beads on it, I could put five beads in a group and sell them, I don't know, for like, five to ten dollars but that's not my bag pun intended um, but I could appreciate that other people who do this for a living or do it to supplement their income that that they would not treat the stuff I treat as trash or call garbage uh, garbage so I will refrain from using those two terms to um, talk about the things I don't want you know what uh, I thought of something, 
um, want to get rid of that bad habit. Anyways, if I don't like something, maybe I'll just say pass, that, you know, instead of using, you know, trash or garbage. All right, uh, but thank you very much, uh, Noni. Uh, thank you for reminding me why am I in this hobby in the first place, to look for things that other people might overlook. And, you know, you guys out there might see things that I overlook. So, fair enough. So let's get to it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna open this up. Now you wonder what that beep was. All right, I put myself on a timer because I don't want this video to go overboard. So I think this bag probably will take me about 30 minutes, give or take. But I just want to remind myself not to talk too much and just get to the meat and potatoes of this bag. All right, first of all, I will make my piles. All right, uh, this is very interesting, but just not my cup of tea. See here, it is a uh, crucifix pendant made from um, glass beads. Oh, someone's ringing at the phone. Please ignore that. Someone will pick up. Anyways, here we go. Uh, I think it's like some sort, I don't know, they make these beads that look like candies, you know, like these little flowers. Anyways, interesting, but not for me. I'll just put it, put it over here. Uh, next, let's see. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'll put this in the cool pile. All right, we got this reclining brooch. It's not marked, or actually there might be a little mark. Well, there's a mark that I cannot understand. Hmm. VP, maybe? PV? All right, it says PV right here. But it's a brooch, probably made of pewter, looks like it. And it's just a reclining, lying person, I guess. That is interesting. I'll put that in the interesting pile. And what else do we have here? All right. It is a single earring. All right, see this little earring? Looks silvery, but there is no markings whatsoever that I see. So let's see, what does the magnet say? Oh, oh, it's magnetic. That is a pass. See, I learned quick. Here is a watch, and the, the hands actually say minute, and the other shorthand says hour. So I guess this is for kids to learn to tell time. All right, um, I will put it in the watch pile, I guess. You know, when I save enough, uh, maybe I sell it to someone else, sell the bag of watches. Oops, what is this? Let's see, looks silvery, no marks. It's like some sort of earring. What does the magnet say? Doesn't say anything. So that is the maybe pile. I'll just put maybes over, over here. This is a pass. <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. All right, I'll put this uh, pass. Now, is this the first silver necklace? This is something I eyed in the bag earlier, right before I got home. All right, it is a nice silver looking uh, necklace. And it looks Italian because it has these little ends here. And I don't know if you can see that. It says Italy and it says 925 on the other side. I'll show you this part as well and it says MJI I guess it's the manufacturer jeweler jewelry company and also on the little clasp it says 925 mm, very squarish looking chain very nice indeed has some a little bit of weight to it that is definitely a keeper I'll put that 
on the keeper side. Very nice. I think that probably is halfway towards what I paid for the bag. So, all right. Hmm, there's something here I like, but I don't want the other stuff. All right. Undo this chain. neat some sort of necklace or it might yeah same necklace sometimes you can't tell but uh, look at the little end here it sort of reminds me of Game of Thrones or something so, okay it's a pass Over here. but I thought this is cool and it is probably just costume jewelry it looks like it but it's something I did notice earlier on um, all right, so it's a chain and you have this little pendant with this little blue stone, but it has this little cool compass on the back of it. Mm, and has a nautical theme. The decorations there. Um, I find it interesting and it's not silver. I can see the copper coming through. But uh, I, I like the pendant, I don't like the chain. So you know what, I am going to separate the chain and just keep this little cool pendant. Honestly, I just like, actually it's probably not a stone, it's probably a marble. Okay, it doesn't wanna come out. Let's see if it pulls the other way. Nope, it will not come out. The ch chain is stuck on it. Well, you know what? I'll put it as a pass. Doesn't look that old anyways. Uh, this looks like a coral necklace. Have a look, guys. Let's see. Let's see if you can focus on that. Um, hmm. Look at the back. It says silver on the clasp. Is it really silver or are they lying? They are lying, big sticky. All right, well, I would say it's a pass. Hmm, all right, there's a earring here. I'll see if it's, no, it doesn't look silver. And it is magnetic, stuck. Pass, uh, I got a ring. Any writing on the inside? I'll show you, it's like a whole bunch of hearts. I will check with the magnet. It's not magnetic. Mmm, doesn't look like silver. It just doesn't. I'll put that in the past for now. A uh, bunch of pearls on a plastic string, nylon string or something. Oops, and it just snapped off. Well, two pearls just took off. Pass. Okay, uh, purple bangles, pass. Another purple bangle, pass. Oh, chain, let's see. Any writing? Oh, I like those Italian clasps, or the ends. Looks like the same manufacturer, MJI. A uh, nice little sterling chain with this little pendant, uh, hematite pendant. I don't really like the pendant, but I, I'll just leave it on the chain. Good stuff. All right, pass, pass. And what is this? Is this a gold chain? Let's see if it's our first gold chain. Um, is it magnetic? It is magnetic. Thank goodness I had the magnet. No good. See that? No good. All right, next. All right, that's a pass. Another pass. Pass. Oh, here is another earring. Let's see. Gold tone. Pass. Uh, 
another earring. Us. Another earring. Pass. And this is nothing. It's an earring. All right, don't worry, guys. There's going to be some goodies. Uh, more goodies, I should say. This is a little interesting. Well, it's not little. This big pendant. It's not marked. Doesn't look like silver. It's not marked. Garbage. Oh, sorry. I said the G words. Excuse me, Noni. I mean, pass. See, old habits are hard to die. Here is another pass. Oh, a ring. Let's see. Is it silver? Right. Doesn't look like silver. It looks like little crystals and stuff in it. Uh, it's not magnetic. Hmm. But the color, I see green. When you see green, it must be no good. Pass. Nice little rose ring. Pass. Pass, pass. Right. Please excuse my little assistant. Uh, she is misbehaving. Hopefully she will not make an uh, unannounced comment again. All right, pass. Pass. Ooh, what the? Big fish hook here. All right, that is dangerous. Uh, it looks like a real fish hook. I don't think it's a piece of jewelry. I mean, look at that. Oh. I want to be stuck with that and get, have to get tetanus shot or something. All right, this is, all right, you know, this is a mixed blessing, you know, when there's a jumble of stuff, like chains all, there she goes again. Uh, chains that are all tangled together. Sometimes the good stuff is mixed in and that's why it's there because no one wants to bother untangling it. Look at this big necklace. Pass. All right, all right, I see a ring. And it looks sort of bronzy. So right off the bat, I don't think it is something. Let's look at it. Looks like a twig, pretty cool. But not for me, pass. All right, remember I don't throw this stuff away. Uh, what I save it up and one of these days I sell it to my um, flea market friend, uh, merchant friend, who will, this is the earring backing, who will buy it for me for about a buck a pound. I know it sounds a little cheap, but that's my form of recycling. Um, yeah, I mean, if he could turn a profit from it, by all means, I'm very happy for him. Um, last time I sold him, well, actually the last and, the first time and the last time I sold him a bunch. I think I sold him like 60 pounds worth. And he gave me 60 bucks. Woohoo. For the longest time, I didn't know what to do with that stuff. And I think I tried to put on Craigslist once. And there's a few times a few people met with me uh, to have a look, look-see. And, you know, I, I already state that, you know, there is no precious metals, no silver or gold. It's all being picked through. And they, you know, sort of go through it a little bit and then they pass on it. So, I don't know, they don't believe, you know, my comments on it or description. But my friend, he sells costume jewelry and vintage stuff, so he's not looking for the obvious gold and silver. He's looking for that vintage gold, well, for the uh, vintage stuff that he can resell. He has a customer base for it and a market for it. So by all means, this is interesting, all right? This is just a regular gold toned earring back. This bracelet is magnetic, pretty cool. All right, you just tested yourself, you're fake. I'm just kidding. Interesting, huh? All right, but it's a pass. Here's another earring, uh, looks silvery, but it, is not marked and I don't know. 
Doesn't look like silver. Pass. All right. A bunch of earrings on a card. Let me see. Oops. Oopsies. All right. If there's any silver ones, doesn't look like it. Yeah, definitely a pass. And uh, let's see, this one looks like a pass as well. Yeah, this looks like a pass. Beads, pass. Hmm. It's been a while since I had a good bag. Or showed you guys a good bag. So I'm glad we are here today because these are fun. Pass. Fun to go through. Fun to find stuff. Oh, and the other side of that earring. Pass. And, uh, you know, I always say these videos are therapy for me. It lets me babble on and on and on. All right, necklace, interesting, pass. All right, I know some of you guys and gals out there are probably drooling all over this like stuff that I pass on, but you know, I only take what I need or take what I like and move along the stuff, move it along. Can't collect everything, you know. Definitely pass. Oh, look, I got a necklace that has a built-in bow tie. Whoa. No, I'm just gonna pass. All right, I really just want to find my golden treasure. Oh, another silver. All right, another thin silver chain that is marked nine to five in tiny marks and Italy on the other side. Oh, that's good, like my third sterling chain from Italy. Very nice. Oh, is this gold now? I hope, I hope, I hope. All right. Maybe it's just, it's another chain. Uh, might be just toned silver. Italy, 925. Yes, another silver chain. See? Right here, 925. Number four. Gotta love it. Put it over here with the rest. Right. Hmm, a lot of chains. I definitely got my money's worth for sure. Let's see if I can get some profit now. A little keychain. Uh, ribbon with some freshwater pearls. Pass. Uh, some more interesting beaded necklaces. Uh, Oops. Pass. Another earring. The second earring of this type. Pass. All right. What is this? Is this sterling? Possibly. It's not marked. Uh, it's. Oh, it's based on like the little Japanese cartoon slash comic, little twin stars, I think, or. Uh, but it looks silvery, but there's no mark. Uh, maybe it is a, um, what do you call it? Uh, craft type jewelry artisan piece. Oh, well, we got the magnet here. Is it magnetic? It's not magnetic. And it's, does it flex like silver? Sort of flex. Well, you know what? This will be in the maybe pile. Well, even, even not maybe, it's pretty cool. I'll put it off to the side. All right, another earring. Is it silver? Uh, not marked. Hmm, try the magnet. Not magnetic. Um, one of those things. Let's say pass for now. All right, there's another earring. No 
No marking. Not magnetic. Doesn't look like silver though. All right. Oh, bracelet, little bracelet. Looks silverish. Yeah, let's see if there's any markings. Oh, I think I see a marking. Let's see the magnet. What does the magnet say? Doesn't say anything, which is a good sign. And I will just look closely at the markings. 925. Okay, we got a little silver bracelet. Like, I like silver bracelets. Uh, all right. Two little hearts. Very tarnished silver bracelet. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Hmm. Um, another ring, all black. I don't think it's silver. Pass. Hair clip, pass. Pass. So far, it's been pretty good. Oh, what is this? It's a pin that looks very nice. Very interesting. Um, looks like good quality. All right, uh, let's see if it is precious metal. See this pin? Has a little salmon on the top. Or I should say a brooch. Look at that. Um, it looks like silver. Even if it wasn't, I would definitely say it is a designer piece. Um, definitely a keeper. Hmm. Just looking. Looking, looking, looking for any marks, any hallmarks or 925 marks, All right? I don't see anything, All right? Let's try the magnet test. It's not magnetic. Let's see. Looks very nice though. Let's say like in a store, I would definitely see this is Hmm, I don't know, like a $50 brooch. All right, we'll put it with my other brooch. Pass. 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 Little pass. All right, we're, we're going at a good pace, I think. This is the other earring I saw earlier, pass. Hmm. All right, I see, let me see if I see copper. It does look like copper coming through. Yeah. And I think I see copper, so that is no good. Pass. Interesting, but a pass. All right. <clears throat> Little choker with some dangly things. Pass. All right. Piece of wood on the string. Definitely a pass. Mm. I wish I was so creative. Put a piece of wood on a string and then sell it for like 20 bucks at a store brand new. But I'm not that creative. Sorry. It's earring. Pass. Ooh. Ooh. Something nice I spy with my little eye. It is another brooch. This bag has a lot of brooches. But it's... Pretty, but uh, it looks like costume. Um, all right, I'll show you guys in a second. I just gotta have a nice close up. And it's missing a stone too. All right, I'm gonna put this in the iffy pile. Look at this, it's not marked. It's a C star or uh, old, old guys like, like me call a, C, a starfish. You know, that's what we grew up with, uh, that name. 
Um, no marks. Looks like uh, costume jewelry, but it's quite detailed. I will put that in the maybe pile. All right, what else is there? What else is there? All right, some tangles are not worth separating out. Another pass. All right. Big jumble of stuff, and it all looks to be costume. Oh, 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 maybe not, maybe not. Gotta look closely at this. Ooh, I'm glad I checked. Looks like a sterling chain tangled in here. Is the rest sterling? I mean, the loop is sterling, or the little clasp is sterling. We'll see if the other stuff. Check for marks. Hmm. All right, this little necklace that has these little dingly dangly things looks interesting. Right, very modern looking, I guess. All right, I'm gonna use the magnet. Any part of the magnet sticks to it, then I will not keep it. Nope. All right, I will treat this as silver for now. All right. Oh, this little one popped out. Hmm, what is this? What is this? Oh, that doesn't look like anything. Oh, it is magnetic. This little tiny part of a chain with the little butterfly on it. Look at this, it just sticks. Pass, for sure. And the original jumble I was working on will still be a pass. Let's see, this it's just a jungle of stuff. Don't see anything interesting in it. We'll not bother to take that apart. All right, we've got this big looking ring made of copper and it's starting to green on the back. Pass. All right, this has been a pretty good bag so far. Another ring like that. But, you know, it's funny, I was uh, thinking like, when it comes to these bags, we're, we're always looking for silver in terms of ounces uh, well generally you know to sort of um, spike up your interests but uh, when it when it comes to gold then we switch over to grams like you know we talk in terms of finding how many grams and you could say yeah one gram of gold can be worth more than an ounce of silver obviously nothing Here's another of uh, those uh, two earrings that belong to that pile. Here is a single cuff flank, plain. Pass, pass, pass again. Oh, here is one of the reasons why I bought this bag. I saw this, a Scottish brooch. This got the thistle with some sort of I guess it's just a colored glass because it is foil, foiled on the back, but it is a sterling brooch and has these hallmarks on the back. See, see the hallmarks? And I will look closely as the, uh, what is it, the lion, the thistle, uh, the F year mark, WBS and another mark I do not recognize. So this is pretty cool, really nice. I will definitely put that in, put that in the good pile. All right, good pile of 
over here. Uh, another ring. Looks like a child's ring. Like two cherries. There's no there's a little bit of green. Don't see any silver mark. Oh, there's a lot of green. Alright. Oh, interesting. Alright, here's something I saw from outside the bag, which looked very promising. Very, very, very promising. I'm going to just have a better close-up look. See if there's any marks. Okay. Hmm. Possibly some, some gold. Maybe. We shall find out. All right, so I see this remnants of some sort of pendant with gold filigree. I think it's gold. See that? No markings at all. So I will put that in the maybe pile. It's very light. I mean, it doesn't feel heavy like gold, but you know, it might be gold plated silver, but it's interesting. Very, a lot of work that went into this. I will definitely keep it. All right, what else is there? All right, a bunch of bells. Little bell pendant. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, definitely just costume. The back is has those cross hatchings like they do, so it doesn't look so fake. Uh, here is a earring that says nine two five. All right, an orphaned earring. Oops, Butterfingers, and it says nine two five on this part. Does look toned all over. So that goes in the keeper pile. All right, what else is there? Pass. Pass. Definitely pass. Oh, wow. Wow. Someone used, looks like, or maybe the, I don't know, maybe the company that manufactures jewelry was recycling parts or something, but it looks like part of a bracelet, right? That they put a post on to turn into an earring. Wow. Pass. All right, we got some more chains. Love these chains. This bag is full of chains. All right, what does it say here? 925. Oh, Italy, again. Again, another chain. What is that? Like one, two, three, four, five, number six? Ooh, love these chains. And here's another chain which doesn't look good. Definitely a pass. Just gold paint on it, you know. All right, so what do you guys think so far? Pretty good bag? Pretty fun bag. Friendship bracelet. Oh, and all you watch guys out there as well, there's something for you. Here is a Cardinal 17 Jewel shockproof watch. Uh, and has some serial numbers on the back. It's like one of those wind up watches. And is it moving? It moves. Let me see if there's any gold marks for the, uh, the case. Sometimes they are made of gold, like I found before. Even if it's not, it's pretty cool vintage watch. Um, let's see, what does it say? Doesn't say gold anywhere I see, but it's a good condition vintage watch. Pretty cool. I'll show you 
and it is running. Look at this. All right, do you see that? Cool. Goes to my watch collection. Love collecting watches, vintage watches. All right, this symbol I recognize. This is the CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Channel. Usually for us, it's Channel 3. These days, those original channels mean nothing since it's like everything's gone digital. So it might be 103 or Channel 100, I don't know. Uh, pass, interesting, a little bit of history. Oh, what is this? Mm, cool little crystal. Someone put this. I think this is like from a chandelier, from a crystal chandelier. And they turned it into like an order, ornament, crystal, um, Christmas ornament, Christmas tree ornament with some beads. I like the crystal part. I don't really like the rest of it. Well, I'll put it off the side. I think the crystal is cool. Uh, another pass. Let's see. Hmm. An earring. Butler, oh, okay, butler earring, by itself, clip on, pass, oh, right, look at that, wow, sparkly, pass, what is this, what is this, bracelet, pass, pass, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to say, so I'm not going to say it this time. Just to mess with you guys. Okay, here's something I might be good. Maybe. Hey. Okay, my assistant just ran off. All right. Doesn't look like silver. I will use my trusty little magnet. Nope, not magnetic. No marking. No, uh, this looks like definitely a pass. All right, pass. What do you think? Word. Coming down to the stretch, the nitty gritty. All right, here's another thing I saw from outside the bag earlier. It is a happy birthday pendant. And it says Stir for Sterling. And it says Yvonne, 1981, or actually 81. So, see that at the back? So that makes her what? Uh, 40, 40, no, no, not 40, 38 years old, 38 years old. She would be 38 years old, whoever this person is. Hmm. Keeper, I love sterling, goes over the keep pile. All right, what else is this? Oh, what is this, what is this? All right, so we have a little clip and it looks, doesn't look like sterling. Yeah, it's the clip. Thick clip at that. All right, another earring pass. All right, what else is there? Come on. All right, we have some fake Pandora, looks like it. Yeah, counterfeit stuff, falling apart, not even real silver. Pass. Pass. The other side of an earring, other part of an earring. I guess this is like participation. All right, 
Is there anything else on the bottom here? All right, I'm pulling out all the stops. The rest of this bag. Pass. Oh, oh, I see copper. No good. Pass. Copper. Oh, the other silver earring I found earlier that goes over here makes a matching pair. Excellent. Pass. Uh, oh, oh. You know the one that I said pass to earlier? I found the other side. And the other side does say something on the back. Um, let me see. Let me see what does it say. Um, possibly it says Sterling. Hard to see. So hard to see. Um, S. No. Oh, there's numbers. Numbers are good. Um, let's see. I think this is sterling. Now I think it's sterling. So I will dig up from this pile the other matching one. Oh, such a huge pile. Where do I start? So I will find it. I know it's somewhere there. Oh, oh, I think I found it. So I was a little quick. I'm so sorry, little sterling. Too quick to uh, discard you. I feel so guilty now. Mm, not really. Right, there was a mark. That's why you have to really check for these marks. Sometimes they could be really tricky, right? Very faint. All right, so they will go together. And what else is there? This is magnetic, no good. I mean, um, pass. All right, oh, Canada. I'm not gonna sing you the song, but I'll show you the flag. And, um, oh, 750 score for bowling. And uh, just has the name of the manufacturer on the back. Says here, uh, what does it say? I have to look it up. Uh, it says Kelbert Trophies Limited, Vancouver. It is local. I am in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. All right. Oh, little pin, crucifix, earring, that other junk earring right here. Back, earring back. All right. I think this does it. I just finished this bag in about how long it take me? More like almost. 45 minutes, my goodness. But uh, I will show you a recap of the things I found. All right, just do a sort of hover by. See all the chains, all these sterling chains? It was definitely a good bag. For 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. See, this may be silver, but it is definitely a designer piece. Designer piece, again, maybe silver. Uh, pretty cool. Pewter brooch, uh, antique watch, and here's another sterling brooch there, some sterling here, earrings, possibly gold, maybe, I have to get this checked out, but it's a little bit on the light side, so I'm not sure. Anyways, um, here is my haul from this bag, very nice bag, and um, yeah, um, if you guys, well, actually, I hope you guys can make some comments uh, to this video. I really enjoy your comments. Uh, your uh, creative criticism is definitely good, uh, good for you, and uh, you know makes your brain think. But um, yeah, if you guys uh, want to send us mail or send us any donations to the channel or whatnot uh, and get a uh, shout out. 
Um, and we'll definitely show the stuff on the next video. Please do so. Our mailing address is right below in the comments. And uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin picker out.